Hippocrates' clinic. Precious Hippocrates. Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patience. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. 
tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. Out of my way. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? My services don't come free. Here, take this. Though perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's watch, near the cave of Pan. He'll be standing before a long line of sick people. You'll know him by his, um, bald spot, though I wouldn't mention it. Can one man help all of them? I thought they were exaggerating when they said people from all around came to see Hippocrates. So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, Doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This is important. Where are all these people coming from, anyway? Patience, mercenary. They come from everywhere, but this is mostly overflow from the sanctuary of Asclepios. 
It's been crowded there since the war began. And with crowding comes sickness. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? Of course I did. I'm a Mystios. Ungenerous, but honest at least. What can I call you, Mystios? Cassandra of Sparta. What did you come here for, Cassandra of Sparta? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who passed through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. His notes are well guarded. Why? Best stay out of sight. The mighty Tyrants. Built by the Cyclopses. Or so the legend goes. What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself. I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? 
I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. You must work for Drachmi, just like everyone else. Whatever the commander is paying you, I'll pay you more. Then we leave. And let this person die. I could be convinced. On two conditions. Out with it. I'll take double. A life's worth a lot. And for the sake of the gods, don't tell Hippocrates. You greedy, self-serving toad. Hippocrates only charges what his patients can afford. What makes you so special? He's a great man. But he's not the only one saving lives, Mistios. This is expensive work. Stand back and watch. I'll wait here for you to finish. If I leave, what's stopping you from running away? Thinking like a mercenary. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Then make yourself useful and bring me my bone forceps. Some idiot or another's always borrowing them. Then you'll come treat Hippocrates' patient? You have my word. I'll go get your bone forceps. can get back to Hippocrates. These are the forceps he wanted.
this it? You want a half bad assistant? When I'm done with the surgery, I'll be honored to help Hippocrates. Might be limping for a while, but Apollo willing, they'll make a full recovery. I'll meet you there. Don't be late. Hippocrates, how's your patient? You were gone so long, he didn't survive. I'm sorry, Hippocrates. We took more time because this missiles helped me save my own patient. 
Sometimes science requires tough decisions. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But two more serious matters. I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now. to talk to him. Come on. The sanctuary of Asclepios, god of medicine. I'd rather trust a physician than a god to heal me. He's over there. Filthy, disgusting creatures. I can't work under these conditions. If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. My eagle will tear out your tongue, priest. Forgive me, not the tongue. Not like me, Don. Chrysis threatened anyone who speaks to the eagle bearer. Did she? Tell me about the woman and her baby, and I won't drown you in your bathhouse. How's that for a threat? Please, no! There is already a corpse in there. What are you talking about? Snakes! Snakes? They're everywhere! Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. The snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? 
Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know. Creatures. And? Is the bathhouse free of snakes? I carved up every single one of those slimy mud like it. My babies! What have you done to my babies? Your snakes infested my bathhouse! A sick man is dead because of them! You! You did this! Good snakes are dead snakes. You'll pay for this. I curse you. Well? Well what? I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Miven, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> I like your snakes. At least I got a name. Miva. Ella. Greetings, young one. Come to offer us Clipios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, I am not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. This way, over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. Ah. Ah. Hey. Ah, I remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod Revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head 
so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic, gods. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, even better. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. Taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly. It was very strong-willed. And uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved. But there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So, when her methods turned to madness, anyone... And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? I'm filthy and could use a good bath. The kind priest here was pointing me in the direction of the bathhouse. Um, yes, that's correct. The bathhouse is right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me. The baths are for healing the sick, not for washing the blood off one's hands. Leave. old priest, hiding by the tree. I thank you for your discretion, Eaglebearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please! Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two.
One more to ah. you should do it. Ah. Ah. Join my crew. Let me show you. 